Hey guys, what is up? I am back. All right, it's Halloween night and we got a special treat. We just got 10.69.2.4 pushed to our cars. I'm super excited. We're going to go ahead and test it out, hopefully without any danger to the children that are walking around trick-or-treating. All right, so we're in drive and we're parked on the side of the street and I've got my first destination dialed in. We're going to go ahead and double tap down and the car is going to take off. So here we go. I'm not doing anything from now. And as you can see, the car just immediately took off. So I do have the uh, audio on and I think it's just a good idea to let you hear kind of how the car talks to you as you navigate through different paths. But here I'm stopped at a red light. Now I wasn't even looking but the car made a very wise decision and decided to jump out in front of this traffic. So the oncoming traffic behind me is going awfully fast. I'd say probably 42 miles per hour. It is a 35 mile per hour road here. It always stops for the stop sign. I'm going to have to step on it to intervene here to let it to go through, but there is the stop sign. And I think someone may have just honked at me. It's possible. I'm not entirely certain. I don't usually hear honks here. So I'm just going to speed it up a little bit, up to 43, 44. People are going a little bit faster. It seems to be a stream of traffic going all 44, 45 miles per hour here. Uh, but 35 is the speed limit and they're pretty strict about that in this area So I shouldn't really feel bad about going slower, but it was Evidently breaking for that stop sign which is not actually there So I am going to report that now if you are reporting the video footage Let's say you encounter an accident and you want to grab that video footage One thing I learned early on when I got my car is that if you tap on the camera record button which if you go into your camera settings here uh, I think it's not actually not dash cam. You, they've, they've tucked it away here. I, it used to be right available on the front screen, but now you have to come in here. And you, so basically you hit on the lower left side, there's a the little car icon. And then you see the recording. That means it's re constantly recording. I have a USB stick plugged in and it's recording to a uh, folder uh, in there. And if I tap on that button, what it will do is record the past one minute or so of driving data. However, when I first started using it, immediately after I witnessed something, I would hit it right away. And then I'd end up missing the incident. So I learned over time that you should wait. Now I don't know if that's exactly how this reporting tool works. So here we're supposed to be getting to the right. It is really supposed to be getting over to the right. Right now I'm gonna move this over. Come on, come on, you gotta get in the right. Oh, that's a regression. Okay, so you used to be able to get over really, really quickly. It jutted in at the last second. Thankfully, we didn't annoy anybody. There is a truck coming up behind us, but it wasn't that bad, but it still was very awkward. It should not have done that. Basically, it should have gotten over a lot earlier. So we got lucky is basically what I'm trying to say here. Usually it would go down on Roselle Road to get there. So I'm gonna have to add a waypoint, I think, to get there with the same path. That's interesting. So the map data has changed to the point where it's no longer taking me down the same route. Now there is a bit of construction on Roselle Road at the moment, so it may have to navigate through that, but I am adding a waypoint right now to get us to go on Roselle Road to match previous drives. And it looks like it's actually gonna go around. I should actually delete that waypoint. Gosh, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough time. Let me do this really quickly here. Done. Okay, so and I'm looking forward to make sure the camera doesn't trigger here, but it's gonna have to refind that location, which it's and it's taking me on the wrong road. So now what I'm gonna have to do really quickly here is before it gets there, I'm just gonna add this one here. And now look at the road immediately. And as soon as it gives me the chance, I'm gonna add it. Okay, now we should be getting over the right right now. If it adds it quickly enough, this is a great test to see. Okay, so it did it did add it, but I'm gonna have to take over just to get it to go right under Roselle. And sure enough, the construction is still here, so I'm driving manually. I did have to take over there because this is the test that I am accustomed to taking here. And the left turn in particular is the interesting one. So as we're driving here, I'm gonna double tap down and we're gonna come up to this light. So again, I was driving manually there. I did have to take over because the route has changed to get to this first destination. Previously, it would take Roselle Road. It's highly possible that it's recognizing that there's construction, maybe somehow through the map data and then rerouting us. But that's the first time in the past year that the map data has routed me differently when I set that first destination. So 
as we come up here, we're going to be turning left onto Bradley Lane. Okay, slow down really nicely for that car there who turned to the right. And like I said, it's going to be slowing down here for Bradley Lane. And then this is an unprotected left. And we're going to get into a neighborhood and maybe potentially see some trick-or-treaters here out tonight. Said apply some slight turning force to the steering wheel there. And okay, getting over to the left turn lane. Great. Really nicely done. Okay, this is a perfect gap if it decides to take it. And it takes it really nicely. All right, we're gonna see how it fares here through the neighborhood. So we're coming up to our first destination and then basically I can cancel it out right now if I wanted to. In fact, since I'm in a neighborhood, nobody behind us, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel out that first one, say done. And it should take off after recalculates and realizes where we need to go to go straight here. So I'm just waiting for it. Okay, it looks like press accelerator to resume. Okay, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't touch the accelerator. It immediately took off. It recognized that first destination was out of the equation. So we're gonna come in up on this first destination feet, and destination if I remember correctly, previously when I did this test, okay, so here are some trick-or-treaters. So perfect, we've got a, quite a bit of people out on the roads here. Okay, they are now uh, your destination is on the taking left. note of my car. Okay, great, so we're here. So the first time I did this, there was a car coming up behind me, so I had to take over here manually and drive up in here. So I'm just gonna simulate that, just so this is similar to previous videos. I'll put a link up above, just so you can see how previous versions reacted in this area. But essentially, there was a car coming behind me, so the first destination got a bit awkward. I had to cancel out and then come right over here, and I stopped, I think, in this exact same spot, and then resumed with the second destination, which I'm gonna go ahead and dial in right now. So I've got it dialed in as two local, and once we go ahead and have this calculate the route, we'll go ahead and turn it back on. Perfect. This looks similar to what we had before. Now, what you're gonna see here, oops, okay, so when I zoomed in, it actually did something really strange there. What you're gonna see here is it's gonna go forward, gonna come out, and it's gonna come back out on Bradley Lane, which is where I just was, and then take that all the way to Roselle Road. And then this is the really interesting part. Once it gets to Roselle Road, it's gonna to have to turn right and then very quickly turn left. And it's never been able to do this. And right now there's a lot of construction on Roselle Road. So that just makes it even more complicated. So I am 99.9% .9 sure that the software will not succeed in this maneuver. Let's find out. Double tap down and the car starts to move. I think it's trying to make itself aware of the environment and now moving forward. Great, okay, perfect. So it's gonna come up here and turn left. I'm just gonna keep the navigation on, left onto Ash Road. on the display so that you know exactly where it's headed here. Okay, so there are some people here now crossing the road and they're showing up in blue, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay, some children here. Okay, now my car, okay. So they gave me the right of way and oh look at there's Pikachu. <laughs> That's awesome. In 500 feet, turn left onto Amazon All right. Boulevard. Oh, this is so cool. So there's so many trick or treaters outside right now and it is now just turn transitioning to Boulevard. nighttime. So the sun is definitely going down. We are in the night screen mode, which means the sun has set and with the rate at which the sun is moving uh, we will be very dark here very soon. <laughs> so now turn left onto Bradley Lane. All right, it's doing really well. Now this I don't really remember in previous drives. It's possible the map data is different because I could swear it didn't actually go back out on Bradley. Actually, it must have because it does do this bizarre maneuver. It may have been the one right over to the right, which would, which, oh no, it would end up on Bradley anyway. Okay, so this is the correct location. This is the correct path to be taking. Now turn right onto North Roselle Road. Okay, if it pulls it off here, I am gonna be so excited. I'll be probably screaming, to be honest with you. I, but like I said, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it will not succeed here. So we have to turn right. There's two cars coming up here, and then after this next car passes, we are good to go. Really well done. Okay, great. Coming out onto Roselle Road, passing all these construction zones, getting yeah, over right to the left to too Illinois early. Boulevard. No, wait a minute. Oh, it's going on Illinois Boulevard. Okay, this is a different route. So they've changed the route. And like I said before, quite possibly due to the construction. So right here is our gap. That car does not have its lights on but it looks like my car did see it. The cameras did identify that truck coming at us. 
So really interesting that it took this route. Not sure why, it, all the GPS data has rerouted itself. All right, so here is a truck with a tractor backing into the driveway. It is showing up blue on my screen. However, it's just plowing straight forward. Wow, it didn't even slow down. That was uh, In quite- In 500 feet, turn right onto Kingman Lane. That was quite aggressive, if you ask me. All right, so this car has stopped on the side of the road. They opened up their door and there somebody got out. It visualized all of that perfectly. In 500 feet, turn left onto Washington Boulevard. All right, it says autopilot creeping forward, checking for visibility. It's going awfully slow and somebody comes up behind us. Thankfully, we didn't interrupt them in any way going forward. If they had been a little in bit closer to us, feet, you will arrive at your destination. If they had been a little bit closer to us, I probably would have had, had to take over there. All right, so we're coming up 300 feet, 200 feet, now 100 feet. You know, it's saying that we've arrived. So I'm going to dial in the third destination here. All right, the third location now right is now dialed in, and I'm already it's already on, so I don't need to do anything. I didn't have to step the brake, I didn't have to step on I didn't have to step on the brake and I didn't have to step on the accelerator. It just automatically started going there once I got the third destination dialed in. Now, this should be consistent with previous tests because we're not anywhere near construction and again, I'm guessing there, but I'm pretty sure that this the rest of this path is going to be pretty similar to previous videos. In 500 feet, turn right onto Bristol Lane. All right, so some trick-or-treaters here. Uh, they just crossed over the road, and we're going to be going straight and then turning right onto Bristol Lane. So it did stop appropriately here. This is a intersection to stop at. The, this, the street here um, that's a perpendicular it does not have a stop sign, but there were no vehicles whatsoever, so the car proceeded forward just as it should have. Now, now it's coming up. Right onto Bristol Lane. All right, so it just told you what what's happening here. I I feel like I don't I don't really need to narrate every single tiny little turn here. So there's nobody in this neighborhood. So this is very slow and similar to what it's always been. No significant improvements regarding speed in residential neighborhoods when nobody is around. Uh, it still seems to be a little bit slow. So there my car just turned on its bright lights and uh, went straight into someone's garage with someone sitting there waiting for trick-or-treaters. My car is going awfully fast for this neighborhood. Now I should have really have dialed that down. Thankfully there was nobody there. It would have slowed down anyway if somebody had been there, but it was a little bit too fast. Now this is a tricky spot. So there's quite a few cars that go uh, on this road. And if it's gonna go, it better go now. So it's kind of pausing. Okay, somebody's coming and it did go forward. It didn't go as fast as I thought it would go, but it did make that move. Interesting, some fog up here. This is really cool, mysterious. This is perfect for Halloween, to be honest with you. A lot of people crossing the road. Oh, that's so cool. Look at all this fog. Ah, oh, it's awesome. All right, wow. Yeah, all these people crossing and all this fog. Okay, my car is slowing down. It slowed down really late there for them, but it did slow down and it did a nice job recognizing all those people just standing in the road. I think they were taking a picture of the sunset. Uh, it is in quite beautiful, but- feet, turn left onto North Braintree Drive, then turn right onto Allison Lane. Going through that fog was especially interesting and in being Halloween and all. Okay, now so- turn left onto North Braintree Drive. I keep getting interrupted by the GPS voice, but here we are turning left. Okay, there is a car coming on the left. If it goes right now, then we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Thankfully it waited. So some trick-or-treaters crossing the road. This will be really interesting here, this interaction. A lot of people, let's see if my car slows down. I would stop, but now turn right they are all just standing there and my car now reacting kind of late 
and awkwardly pulling through the turn there. So, wow, fascinating. Okay, so it's really slowed down for those people, but then just kind of stopped in the road. Really bizarre to me that it just kind of stopped right there. So we're waiting here, this car is going. Okay, now we're gonna hesitate, this is gonna be awkward. Bicyclist there, slowing down right in the middle. Oh, come on, now it waits for him. Okay, so I stepped on the accelerator um, giving him the opportunity to go, but my car was right in the middle of the intersection. And usually that's not the right thing to do, just hang out right in the middle of the intersection. So I honestly would have gone forward, but the car took extra caution. I did intervene, and then I, I said, well, wait a minute, the, car, the bike is going. I don't need to intervene anymore, so I let go. But then when the bicyclist passed, I had to intervene again because it wasn't getting out of the intersection. You never, ever want to be blocking the intersection and that's exactly what was happening there overall I would say after reviewing everything and thank you by the way I think it was trombone AI that mentioned I should review come up with kind of an overview in my videos so I really appreciate his input or her input I don't know who trombone AI is but thank you so much I will provide an overview right now for everybody the car was a little bit hesitant in sections it seemed to react differently than uh, previous versions in regards to the maps and how it was routing. But generally speaking, I didn't see any substantial improvements. The hesitation at stop signs was the same. Four-way stops, the same construction, still handled, handled very awkwardly. Uh, still had situations where uh, it, you know, it interrupted traffic flow. I was very cautious, as always. Generally speaking though, based on this first ride, I would say that it operated identically to previous versions. I did not notice any major differences. So here turning left, we're getting in a left turn lane. To finish this off, we're gonna see how well it can make its way through this final intersection here. So in previous versions, it was really slow and hesitant. Hopefully now it goes, because this car coming up, Oh boy, all right, come on, come on, go, 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 okay. Took a long time there. If someone was behind us, we would have had a couple F-bombs going off. But uh, the person in front of us, I mean, I think they were patient enough and it was workable. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks a lot for all your patience. I appreciate it. Have a great night and a happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.